Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to Mukul Maurya World Vlog. Myself Kalyani Mahesh. Today we are going to know about the fascinating story of Lord Ganesha, the fourth story, and the last three stories. You can visit the Ganesha stories playlist. So let's go into the fourth story, the story of Ganesha's wisdom. Lord Ganesha is called the God of Knowledge and Wisdom, and there is a spectacular story that illustrates why it is so. Ganesha had a younger brother called as Kartikeya. Both would get along well, but just like all other siblings, they would have moments of arguments and fights. On one such day, Ganesha and Kartikeya both ended up finding a unique fruit in the forest and grabbed it together. They refused to share it with each other and started climbing the fruit for themselves. When they reached Mount Kailash and presented this predicament to Shiva and Parvati, Shiva made a proposition. He recognized the fruit and said that this fruit is known to grant immort immortality and extensive knowledge when eaten by the rightful bearer of it. To choose who gets it, Lord Shiva proposed a challenge. He asked Lord Ganesha and Kartikeya to circumvent their world three times. Whoever would do so first and return to Mount Kailash would be the rightful owner of the fruit. Kartikeya immediately hopped onto his pet peacock and flew sped speedily to complete three revolutions across the earth. Ganesha was a little stocky compared to Kartikeya and his pet was a rat who could not fly. Having listened to Shiva's proposal properly, Ganesha started walking around Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati and completed three circles around them. When asked by Shiva, Ganesha replied that Shiva had asked them to circumvent their world and for Ganesha, his parents were more than the world. They were the entire universe. Shiva was touched and impressed by Ganesha's wisdom and saw him as the rightful owner of the fruit. The moral of this story is, not only does this story give you a great example of how using your wisdom can help resolve a situation smartly, but it also teaches that your parents should be given the respect and love they desire. So, for the fifth story, the story of Parvati's wounds, write come tomorrow to my channel. So, stay tuned, stay safe and be blessed. Sarvejana Sukhino Bhavantu.